some tips I have for traveling. Explore the rural countryside because there's so much there. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new travel vlog. So today we are going to be exploring Gohong, which is a city in the Jeonjo province. Honestly, I just looked on the map of this province and I just picked this city because I feel like I've never seen any travel vlogs here. There are several things to do here, so I was like, why not? Let's just go. It's a new place. I know you guys like to see more of rural Korea, so that's what we're going to be doing today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. It does help me out a lot. The first place we are going to be going to is a lunch spot. This is a really, really famous restaurant, probably one of the most famous places in this city to eat. In fact, it's so famous that they have a parking guy, like a little parking director guy to help you figure out where to park. So that's how you know, like in a small rural town, you don't really see stuff like that a lot. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go eat. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get started. really really popular place probably one of the most known restaurants in Gohong there have been like a ton of TV shows filmed here I always try to go to restaurants like this because I guess they're famous for a reason uh -huh. like uh, driver is there any drivers come here to come here because it's quick and cheap uh, this is very convenient mm. and cheap mm -hmm. and very fast actually I saw a truck driver Came yeah. yeah. They are all dry and very fast. Mm. We just, I just. It's around about one minute. You got yeah. yeah, guys, all of this came within one minute of sitting down. Isn't that crazy? per person. Wow. That's like cheaper than a McDonald's meal. And it's so much taste. So we were just driving to our first official destination after lunch and I look over and there's just this giant pink flower field. I've never seen anything like this with the colors. <gasps> you guys, you're going to love this place and I'm going to leave the location on this video so that if you're here you can stop because this is so pretty. Oh my gosh! Down the boulevard, cruising with the windows down, feeling like. 
So we came to this lookout point, which we already knew was going to be closed because of um, COVID. But fortunately, you can see uh, the view just kind of from down here. And over here, they actually have this big map of Gohong, just so you guys can kind of see more about the size. And then here are all, and then here are some of the popular destinations. So as you can see, most of the stuff here that people like to do you can enjoy outside perfect for this time of year we're gonna go on a little walk down this path you guys this is quite a nice little hike oh look okay let's go We just had a nice walk on the beach. I do want to say something real quick. I get a lot of questions about like road trip, oh cute little harmony, road trip hacks, travel hacks for while you're in Korea. And guys, I have to say, it's next. Oh, sweet, right? I like it. Sweet potato latte, lemon iced tea, and then we got three different macaroons to try. It's chocolate cheese and strawberry, but check out 
this area. It's literally a cafe on a farm. And there's like farmers out here doing their job and it's really peaceful. You can hear the birds and it's so, so green this time of year. Okay guys, so um, I kind of wanted to, hold on. It's so pretty. Oh, that's good. I wanted to sit down and talk about some tips I have for traveling. We actually came up with these tips together because I know you see a ton of our travel vlogs and I know there's a lot of you that are either in Korea and you want to get outside of your city and travel more or you're planning to come to Korea. And first of all, I definitely recommend if you're coming to Korea, take like shell out some time, even if it's just a couple of days to explore the rural countryside because there's so much there and it's just a great way to immerse yourself in the culture. So we kind of compiled a little list, I guess you could say. So the first thing we think you should do is decide where to go and check out the weather before you go. I think weather actually plays a huge part in your experience when you go somewhere. Of course, if it's raining, you're gonna be limited. And even if it's like a cloudy day versus a sunny day, I feel like that makes all the difference, especially if you're doing stuff that's gonna be outside. So check the weather and try to go somewhere when it's sunny. I don't plan my trips until five days before because I wanna make sure I know what the weather's gonna be like. All right, next to find like actual destinations where to go once you figure out your city you can either go on the kto website i think that's really helpful they have a ton of places on there but also neighbor so if you don't know what neighbor is it's kind of like korea's version of google in a way they have like blogs on there so a lot of people have a neighbor blog account and if you go on there you can just type in in korean oh that's good and just type in like go on their blog setting and just type in the city you're going to and you'll probably find blog posts from people that have traveled there and you can do the same on youtube you can just type in like you know go hung go hung blog in korean and then you can find travel vlogs that korean people have made and then also neighbor is what i used to find well he usually finds our eating spots and you just type in matchup right mm -hmm. So matjib is a Korean word. It basically means delicious house. Yes, yeah. Correct. So uh, it's like a really popular hashtag here. So you can just type in hashtag gohung matjib and then you'll find a ton of restaurants. And I do the same thing for finding cafes. Gohung cafe, type it in Korean on Instagram or neighbor. If you're not comfortable with using neighbor, also you can check Instagram. Hashtags literally are, I always find the cafes I go to with hashtags. Now let's talk about the accommodation where you're gonna stay. As you guys know, we love to do pensions. And the way you can find pensions is just by going on Naver or Instagram and typing in hashtag gohung pension. Um, type in Korean, of course, and you'll find tons. And um, the more specific, you can just add more hashtags if you're on Naver. And also, if you don't want to spend a ton of money on your accommodation, totally understandable, you can find really, really cheap motels in Korea that are only like 40 bucks per night. So if you're on a budget, you can find cheap motels, guest houses. Um, honestly, even in the small rural cities, there's tons of motels. So you don't really have to worry about having a lot of money uh, to spend on accommodation if you don't want to. And the last thing I wanna talk about is transportation. So Korea has a great public transportation. If you don't wanna take the bus, you can also take taxis. Just taxis are gonna be a lot more expensive. But I do wanna say, 
if you have an international driver's license or you're traveling with a Korean who has their license, you can use SoCar, which is the app we use. They basically bring the car to your house and then you can just drive it around and you bring it back to your house so you don't have to go pick up a car anywhere. The last thing I wanted to mention is there are like travel groups in Korea that you can go on so if you're not really comfortable traveling by yourself or having to make the itinerary all by yourself there are plenty of travel groups out there so um if that's something you're into i recommend it but i personally just like would prefer to have my own itinerary because then you can stay however long you want in a spot so those are the tips that we came up with is there anything you want to add Me? <laughs> oh yeah yeah you, you say oh okay yeah yeah we came up with this together so mm -hmm. Yeah, just get out there. See Korea, especially this time of year. It's getting warmer and everything is green. You can go on a trip for like really, really cheap if you just use public transportation and you uh, find like cheap places to eat. The lunch we had today was literally 20 bucks for both of us, so. No, it's, it was not 20 bucks. 13 bucks for two persons. It's so cheap. And then like the parks and stuff, it doesn't cost money to go there. Yeah, if you guys go somewhere from my videos, definitely tell me. I'd love to hear. But anyways, we're just going to enjoy our drinks and then we're going to head back to Busan. It's been a really fun time here.